Hello and welcome back to Modest Play on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition, where last time we left off we had escaped the initial facility. We now have to go have a little chat with uh, the elusive I man. Keep the elusive man waiting. Shut the fuck up, Jacob. You'll never be on my team if you keep up that fucking piece of shit. Um, anyway, so I wanted to, yeah, I just wanted to come back to this. I, I tried to looking it up, but I have no idea why I have extra resources above the 5,000 of each of these. 130,000 of this. Maybe you just start with some resources in general. Maybe you have 4K already from for whatever reason, but I I, I don't know. I can't remember and I, I can't figure it out. That's can I chop? I wouldn't keep the elusive no. man waiting. I talk about anyone else, Miranda. You want to the elusive chat? man is waiting for you in the other All room. Right. Oh, I can customize my gear. Oh, you can customize your gear here. Wait a fucking second. Hold on, just a second now. Oh my god, be calm. Is there, is there anything attached to this? Increase weapon damage by 5%. Increase health by 5%. Increase health by 5%. Is this... Did we get... Yeah, we unlock more shit throughout the game, right? And then that's gonna... Oh my god, I totally... Oh, I can change... <sighs> okay. Um, casual appearance. Oh, that's cool as well. We can change our little outfit. Oh, what a badass. Oh, it's just a little... Yeah, just a hoodie. That's cool. I like that. Why is he looking kind of thick? Not thick, but fat. All right, the old Tommy. He's getting a little beer belly. He looks so. He looks too casual on this, to be honest. I actually kind of like this one. It's so. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's it, it's a bit too much. I'm not gonna do it, but it actually does kind of look cool. This one looks fucking weird. This looks ridiculous. This is a bit too casual. I honestly think this little leather jacket. Yeah, nice. We'll we'll apply that. Oh god. I, I still want to change my armor. Uh, so yeah, helmet. I, I, are, do we always start with these, or is this some of this that's actually like the reason we have this is because of, um, like legendary edition or whatever. But health five percent, health five percent, or weapon damage five percent. I'm not gonna go off of stats. I just like this one the most because it's like a full visor. Yeah, it just looks the coolest. So we'll go for the N7 Breaver helmet. Looks sweet. 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 Don't have any other shit here yet, but we can customize this uh, look regardless. So doesn't say what the material's called, but some of them are less shiny than others, I guess. This is like matte. I kind of like matte, but I think honestly with space armor it needs to be pretty shiny. Maybe full on shine. Oh god, no! I thought I landed on pink armor instantly. Full on black. I actually think I prefer grey. I want some like orange tinting or something. I'm sure you guys are well aware I fucking love orange. Not just because I'm Dutch. There's no fucking orange. Are you kidding? This is like the most orange you're gonna get. Fine. I don't mind it. Ew. Oh, and the pattern color you can change. Why? Right. So I would want this. Yeah, I don't think I'd want the. I think I'll take this up. pattern. This pattern. And then it would have to be, you know, I guess, this color. Not entirely convinced, I'm not going to lie. That actually looks pretty sweet, though. I think I like that more. This is a bit too much. And then this is... Fuck no. I think I like this most because it's more subtle, the orange. Although it's more on the arms, but... Oh, that's the same. It's just the helmet. Yeah, I kind of like this. Could make this, like, white, but I think I honestly kind of... I kind of... I, 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 I fuck with this, as the kids say these days. Go with that. Sweet. It's not as orange as I would like, but it's still kind of like a golden orangey. It's not bad. Yellow is a decent color too. Not bright yellow, but I just wish there was a fucking orange. Stupid game. Fuck this game. I don't want to play this anymore. It's no fucking orange. I should have seen how full on black looks with orange though, but whatever. This is fine for now. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. You don't know me. You might be the reason I'm still alive, but that doesn't mean I trust you. How do you like you when need you fit? to put your personal feelings aside. Humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memories still intact. How are you feeling? 
You're not my friend. He's just asking how I'm feeling, man. Jesus, Shepard, you're just stop being such a little bitch. You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds what of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. <laughs> I you want to be a bad guy. What the fuck side. am I doing here? We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? They're reaping. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. All right. Tell me literally everything, please. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Tell me more. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Fighting a war doesn't seem like oh, service. Oops. We're committed to the if the if we wait for policy. Yeah, it's Alliance moving around. Act, no more human that was, <laughs> It was left. top and then it was bottom and now it's top again. Uh, why me? You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. No, I'm not a soldier. You're I'm an adept. I chose I my class. I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. Maybe I believe you. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Do I have a choice? Is this a volunteer job or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Holy fuck, I've leveled up again. Alright, well, may as well get that out of the way. Let's see, we got two points. Uh, so the throw just makes the force bigger, which is probably the best thing we can do right now. And the ration of pool goes up, which is also nice. This is also good. Power recharge time. 5% on 3 seconds is not a lot, though. Paragon slash Renegade plus 20%. Is that... I assume that's just from, like, what I have right now. Let's say I have 100 right now. It goes up to 120. It's not... It's not that I gain more as I... I don't know if it is. That's kind of what I'm worried about. Uh, wait, I can I can just test this and then undo talent points, right? So if this goes... Yeah, it goes up right away. So it's not... It's not a percentage thing like, oh, from now on I gain 20% more. No, it's just I have 20% more. So I can get that later, I think. So I'm just going to go for a cheeky little throw. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. That's lovely, that's just... Oh, that's lovely. All right. And then I can level up Miranda. And also, actually, uh, Jacob, because he hasn't been leveled up at all yet. Hello! The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. Just remember who's in charge. There's no need for that. Thanks for resurrecting me. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project I kind of wish me. I wasn't wearing a helmet, but... I just hope it was worth it. A lot it of does people look lost their lives sick. in that station. And it gives me stats, but I kind of want it to not be on when I'm having conversations. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. 
Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. Alright, tell me about yourself. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred Free biotics yards. on the same team, Take great. Take your pick. I want to I know about you, Miranda. You specifically. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. I just want to know who the fuck I'm dealing with. Answer the goddamn question. I'm in charge, Miranda. I will fuck you up. Where'd you train? Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. Alright. Fuck off. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Ooh. Alright, we can do it. Uh, it's a bit it's a bit soon in a relationship for me, Miranda, but hey, if you're up for it, we can do it. Oh, it's not what you meant. Oh. It's embarrassing. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I wouldn't say convinced, but... I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? Fuck yes, Jacob. For fucking fire. You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. Tell me about literally everything you know. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. I guess. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. Ooh, a Corsair, Corsair of Umbar? I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules, but there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Okay. Sorry, I'm messing with my chair right now. It's not wanting to... There we go. Uh, Cerberus. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council, but nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. That sounds pretty good. But... Also, fuck Cerberus. That's all for now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alright, cool. Uh, well... I think we're ready to go. Plus 16 Paragon for being a sweet fella. Lovely. Lovely job, Uh, journal. What do we got? Prologue Awakening. You escaped the uh, elusive man's uh, extras from investigating miss colon missing columnist. What happened? I can't speak. Loot for clues that might explain what happens to the missing columnist. Yep, that's what we're doing. Alright, cool. Well, oh, that's a summary. I leveled up just now. I was going to say, really, we, um, we leveled up again? Level 6 now? We escaped! We did it. Wilson was our only mole. He's shit. Shepard is back. Import bonuses. There we go. Okay. So it is different. Ooh, no, zero renegade. Sweet. Level 55 character. So we got 3,500 experience. Let's start at level 4. We got 146,000 credits. So that 10% thing isn't quite right. Or maybe it is. It's 100k, and then well, where's the 46k come from? It seems so weird. Where's the 9,000 coming from? Where's the 190? Actually, I do know. It seems weird. Because, again, everything I could find says you get 5k for being... Um, for starting at level... Between level 50 and 59. You get, a, you get 30k credits for being 50 to 59. You just get the extra 100k for having uh, at least a million bucks, basically. So I don't know where the other 16k came from. The experience, I think, is right, but it doesn't matter. Like, it's not going to change anything. And we got a grenade launcher, so we can definitely use weapons that aren't meant for me. Uh, and then we got some random credits that I earned as well. Sweet. Sweet. So we be there wheat. shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Yeah, suck my dick right now. Let's go. Jacob, you, not Miranda. Get out of here. Uh, what... Uh, do you think we're gonna win? What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? 
At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Huh? You're gonna fucking listen to me? Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear, and we've got no target to go after. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. Fifty thousand people used to live there. I don't know if it's fifty thousand, but now it's a ghost town. The only one wearing a fucking helmet. Those two paragon. Oh, Cerberus provides some additional weapons. Weapons. A machine pistol fires free round bursts. Very effective against shields and biotic barriers. Weak against armor. Effective against armor. Weak against shields and biotic barriers. And then a fucking grenade launcher. A fucking grenade launcher. He's using a shotgun. She's using a pistol. I guess I don't have a choice to unless I can. Yeah, you can shotgun it up. And then you. Uh, you have the same choice as me, so she's full on biotic. She has over. No, she's not. She has over a little warp. So I don't know what I want to use. This is good against shields and biotic barriers. I guess it depends on what enemies we're up against. You can use the same. Uh, you use the other one. Then, you know, if we come up against something different. If I was going to be really effective, I would probably have to keep switching all this shit, but whatever. Switching sidearms. Yeah, so am I, little bitch. All right, cool. Oh, this thing is definitely less accurate. I think I'll probably switch very quickly. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. Okay, okay, oh, salvage. A thousand credits. Lovely. Oh fuck, instantly being attacked. Oh fucking hell, I'm almost dead. Security systems were disabled at the other colonies. That's a thing though, when you hover over to do something. Requesting assistance. You uh yeah, you can just fucking hell. Give me a second. Sir! Shoot them before they take out your shield. Wait, 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 I wanna, I wanna switch to this fucking thing. I don't actually know if that's better or not, but... Uh, you, fuck off. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna fucking die over here. Get me out of here. Jesus Christ. Wait, fucking Jacob's dead as well. Jesus, this is embarrassing. Oh, he's fine. Alright, uh, yeah, that was a bit shit. So, uh, I don't know what went wrong there, but, um... Let's just, uh, pretend that I'm just getting used to the controls of Mass Effect 2. Despite the fact that they're exactly the same as before. But yeah, what I was gonna say is that when you're in cover... Oh, I did not mean to do that, but when you're in cover... If you use an ability, you actually go over cover and you get shot, so that's actually kind of dangerous. Can help. Alright. Oh, it still says 2000, so I guess that it takes longer to go down. Won't let the sun go down on me. We've been spotted. Have we? Come on up! Definitely you'll die a lot faster than in Mass Effect 1, which is good, because Mass Effect 1 was becoming a bit too easy towards the end. Oh, hello. Stop right there! Fraza, Criminal scum. You said you'd let me handle this. Tali! Wait. Oh my god, I didn't remember Shepard? that. <laughs> I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! 
Shepard? Is that... you're alive? Remember when I gave you that get data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Fraza, weapon That was one down. of the last missions I did, one this of the side quests. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. I did it to help humanity! I nearly died, Tally. Cerberus spent two years rebuilding me. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. Like we get a story, hug? Like, no on. organization would commit so many resources to bring back one soldier. You haven't yet. seen Shepard in action, Praza. Trust me, it was money well spent. Perhaps we can work together. We're here looking for a young quarian named Vitor. He was here on pilgrimage. Can we first fucking... Hello? I've, it's, I've been gone for two years. Everyone thinks I'm dead. Can we get a hug? I don't know. Isn't that a little strange? A quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his soot CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Uh, why do you hate... I mean, everyone fucking hates Cerberus. What, you, what a stupid question. It sounds like a... Quite, quite... Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. Thanks, Tali. Thanks for the hug. Alright. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Oh, these fucking things. Thanks for the warning. Oh. We'll take care of them. Alright. Alright. I see you, Shepard. No, they fucking not. What? Oh, what the fuck? What was he? Where the hell did he come from? Jesus. Did not see that one. What the fuck? Yeah, it still says 2000, so I guess you just gotta be slower not to get all the money. God, I gotta, I gotta be slower. I'm too fast. Use overload on him. I mean, you're a f- <laughs> Holy fucking my god. So this is where I should probably use the other gun, right? Very effective against shields, yeah. Oh that is that is hella effective. Oh god, I'm almost dead though. That is way more effective. Oh we got some new boys. Try to overload the shield. I mean oh is it one of these fucking okay, right, 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 sorry, it's telling me to do this. They probably keep spawning and I run out of fucking ammo. Shepard, Praza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. Alright. I mean, I'm in a fucking hurry. I'll take my sweet ass time. Explore everything. I feel a gunfight coming up. I'm gonna go back up on the high ground. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Calm yourself down. A heavy mech. A heavy mech? Uh, that's gonna be lots of shields, isn't it? Or armor? No, it's gonna it's be armor. Squad apart. Well, he should have waited. They did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover, and I'll open the loading bay doors. 
We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. I think I'm full on ammo, so this... Oh, it does do something. Do we... Do, does, do weapons not share ammo? Maybe that's what's going on. Uh, 260. I should have looked what the ammo was before. All right. Oh, you get money if you're already full. That's take cool. point, Shepard. We'll cover the door. They should probably get cover. I thought it was Tali for a second, but I was like, no, that's, that's not Tali. That was Tali. No, I'm joking. That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. Yeah, maybe we should have joined in. Wait, why this do I have an assault rifle? This is tough son of a bitch to take down. Stupid cutscene. Overload will take oh, out okay, their shields. Wait, wait. So, it is shield, so I need to use this one first. And then switch to armor. Shield to fail. Fuck you now, calm yourself. Oh, that was poor timing. I didn't even just as I did that. Fragile crate. Is that, is that a good thing? Now I want armor, so now I gotta use the other weapon. Uh, Jacob, you okay? Okay, I feel like hitting him in the back actually probably was good. Guys, well done. Ooh, I'm getting singularity. All right, not bad. What, uh, what's next? Damaged. You mirror mech. I'll take it. Heavy weapon ammo. Heck yeah. It's Two thousand iridium. That's almost as good as three thousand iridium. Dumbbell icon. Little C icon. A battery and a butt plug. Good job, guys. Two more heavy weapons. Oh, that would have been great in this, in this fight, I guess. <laughs> the heavy weapon, but... Didn't need it. Just good old switching pistols to the right pistol. Pistol. Okay, I gotta go that way, I'm guessing. Where is Tali? She was over here, right? Oh, there she is. Wait, do I want to go this way, then? Yeah, no, that might be loot in there. Let's have a little look-see over there first before I continue on accidentally. Fuck! Monsters coming back. Max will protect. Should have spoken to Tali first. To hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. You probably would have just said, like, go on without me. Vitor's just over there. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The... The monsters, the swarms, they took everyone. Tell us what happened. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. Oh yeah, I remember these things. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. 
No one responds. The Seekers swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Tell me everything. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. How did you escape? Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. What a we waste appreciate of time. what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You should join us, Tali. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon. Even for Man, you. Man, fuck you. I didn't even when want you anyways. Over, You're not welcome. And I'm still alive. We'll see what happens. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, Vitor can go with Tali. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Yeah, I, I could use a little snack. It'll pick me up. Yeah, I do wonder what I missed by not talking to her first. I kind of feel like I fucked up, but I also feel like there may Shepard, not have been much there. Good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. So much fucking information. Tell me about the Omega-4 Relay, you son of a bitch. Why is the Omega-4 Relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the Relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate Relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Already interesting humans. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. 
They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. They're building a zoo. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. Imagine being that unlucky that you're in one of those dozen people that could just get abducted. Uh, what are you telling me? You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. But I can't do it alone. If I'm this is a war, you. I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Oh, this is so cool. Uh, I had a good team. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Tell me about every single one of them. First of all, my best friend Rex. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Tichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. My second best, Garrus. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. <laughs> okay, wait, I'm just doing a bit. My third best friend, Caden. Where's Caden Olenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Well, Tali we already know, but tell me more about her. What about Tali? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. And then uh, this random girl, I barely remember her. Liara, I think her name was? Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. You son of a bitch, that's my girlfriend you're talking about. My dick was inside of her, so I must trust her with my life. Never mind. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm a specter. I'm still a specter. Maybe I can get the council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. I had a good team. All right, we'll be ready. You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. <laughs> You're not allowed to First, wear orange anymore. head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. Is that an order? I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. Uh, I hear he's one of the best. Is it a Zhukov? Someone you can trust. Oh my god, there he is. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. <laughs> Wait, you, you, you don't trust me? Life, let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night. The Normandy 2.0. By golly. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. D-Day. Hey, it's the Normandy. How original. 
that's kind of shit to be honest. Like, why would you call your ship the same fucking name? <laughs> like, this, it's like, I mean, I actually, I, I somewhat know someone who does this with dogs. Like, if their dogs die, if their dog dies, they get a new dog of the same race and give it the same name. It's kind of weird. I don't know this person, but they're a customer of where I work. So I know of them, basically, but it's, yeah, it is kind of freaky to me <laughs> that you'd, if your dog dies, you just get a new one and call it the same name. Oh, poor thing. Um, uh, Quarry and Survivor Vito return Vitali Zora to the migrant fleet will examine his data to Omni Data tool for anything useful. We got heavy weapon ammo. Oh, you must recruit a head scientist to build this. Oh, right, there's upgrades and stuff. We, oh, God, this is cool. I forgot, I forgot about most of this stuff. Then we have plus 15% heavy weapon ammo capacity. Not that I really care about that, but sure. Got a bunch of money and some iridium that we randomly found. Sweet. I gotta level up as well. Did I actually level up? I never leveled up Miranda, did I? Oopsie daisy. Also not Jacob, the last level up, but eh, whatever. Try and remember it next time. I don't remember if I keep these scars for the rest of my life. Is this... Is it in this game, in Mass Effect 2, where if you go Renegade, the scars get worse and you become like a... Ugly ass, well not ugly, but like a scary, a scary looking guy? Uh, thanks, Jacob. And if I've you become... Looking over the dossiers. Paragon, it goes away? starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. It's my fucking ship, I'll do whatever the fuck I want. And I say we're going to Earth to live a normal life. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who the fuck is you? you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Jericho one like this. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Anyone else I should meet? I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. Dr. Chuck They're West. at the stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. I will. Oh, what a soldier. What a man. Use the galaxy map to pick new destinations for the Normandy. Alright. Use your private terminal to get status updates in your squad. Squad? Select weapons for your squad from the armory. Heck yeah. Use the elevator to access the Normandy's other decks. Okay. Makes sense. Go to your personal cabin to customize your appearance. Okay. Part of the professor to research upgrades for your squad's equipment. Yes, yeah, so we need to get uh, Morden Solus or whatever his name was first. I don't remember exactly. Cool. Assemble a team. Lovely Jovely. Let's have a little look see around. Meet with Zaid Masi Masani. Travel to the Omega and pick up the infamous mercenary. Travel to Zakar Award on the Citadel input to password silence is golden to Kasumi something. Travel to Alcar. Oh, explore the crash out of the SSV Normandy. Yeah, this is all the like um, side quest or travel to Zeno. Search for hammer that prototype vehicle and any elaborate sec secrecy servers lab labored for years to build a new superior Normandy and to Paragon. Yeah, I think I think some of that stuff is like DLC, but obviously everything is in this game. How's the team doing? Uh, oh, we can cycle our appearance. Oh. No, we're sticking to regular old... You can't cycle appearance? What the fuck? We have info on other people. Dr. Morden Solis. Zaid Masani, who we're supposed to be getting on the team. Stopped taking work recently. He was last seen on Omega. The 
veteran. I don't even remember this guy. I mean, I will once I see him, but was this, uh, yeah, it was the professor. Can I get any info on these ones? No. This is Archangel. Mercenary commanders' operations are noted for their technical expertise and strategic brilliance. He's responsible for high profile attacks on gang leaders on Omega and can likely be found there. I think I know who that is, but. The Warlord. Brilliant, brutal Krogan warlord on Krogan Rebellion. Uh, rebellion's veteran. Who Kier is obsessed with saving the Krogan from the Gen of Age. It's not Rex, though. The Convict Jack. Yeah, I definitely remember her. And then the Master Thief Kasumi. Don't remember her specifically. Once I see them, like I see their character, I'll know exactly who they are. But right now, I don't specifically remember. Any info? Yeah, love, we need to level them up. She gets slammed later on. Cool. Upgrades. We have about upgrades. Oh, that's just this. Okay. Well, fair enough. I have any. Holy fuck. On the off chance that the rumors are true and you're actually alive, I need you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put me on the council and it's only fair that you'll be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. Uh, oh, so if I... Oh, maybe this is... If I double click on it... Oh, it marks it as red. Okay, I thought maybe it marks it on my uh, map or something. Shepard, we've reached an agreement with veteran mercenary Zaid Masani. You know the name, Zaid has been involved in some of the best known and so, some utterly unknown military operations in the Terminus systems and is feared as a ruthless and relentless bounty hunter. I felt you might need a man with his skills on your mission, so I arranged to have him join you. You'll find him Omega where he's wrapping up his current bounty. Don't worry about his fees, it's been taken off personally. The MSV Rosalie survey ship with service connections has gone missing. The survey team was field testing a new prototype, the Hammerhead Pla Planetside Exploration Rover. In addition, scientists Dr. Manuel Keiki and Dr. Robert O'Loy are aboard the MSV Rosalie and conducting research for us. We need you to find a ship, a sur her survey team, and the doctors. Okay. Our scans in the Yamada system have turned up something we thought you should see, the final location of the wreckage of the SSV Normandy. We thought this news might be important to you, but we also have an ulterior motive. The Alliance would like to honor the Normandy with a monument to be built on the site of the ship's final resting place. We'd like to invite you to place the monument and be the first to walk among it. There are still 20 crew members unaccounted for from the attack on the Normandy. If you find any signs in the lost room, we ask that you report to the Alliance. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there, there's like, this crash site has like a lot of resources or something, something as well. I don't remember exactly. It occurred to our armor technicians that you may not want to show your face everywhere you go. They sent by a hood that Cerberus issues to its covert operatives its additional micro frame functions that you might like. The hood is in your quarters. Okay, so we can, I guess we have a new armor piece we can use. One of our cells just went off the grid without explanation. Project Overlord has been experimenting with highly volatile technology and I need you to investigate. Their work is extremely com compartmentalized enough that I can't divulge operational details over this channel. You'll find them on the planet I type fun system. Uh, please use care in this matter. Shepard, we recently had an incident involving the Geth at one of our outposts in the Skillian Verge. Don't worry, I'm not sending you off to chase anything down. Our operatives, who's this from a loser man, waged a highly successful battle against the Geth scouting party and credited their success to a new advanced electrical attack device that we finally let them out uh, take out our lab. Since our unit is being reassigned for some rest and relaxation, I thought you should take the custody of the weapon in the meantime. Arc projector, send it to the Normandy's armory so you can examine it for yourself and use it if you deem it worthy. A uh, new weapon, sweet. It's gone through plenty of tests that indicate it's overload. it overloads kinetic barriers and synthetic enemies particularly well, but laboratory de demonstrates a, are a poor substitute for actual field reports. We know how it works. Now we want to see what we can do in the right hands. Okay. Shepard, a great cost and effort. We have tracked down the master thief, Kasumi Goto, and convinced her to work with you. Very few people have ever heard of her. Fewer can claim to have seen her in person. She's unequaled in, at stealth and infiltration, and her skills will prove invaluable in your mission. Travel to Zakara Ward on the Citadel. You ever find a special ad terminal? Okay. I wanna, I'm want i going to look her up, because I think I remember that they actually added DLC characters later on. And I, even though I played the game multiple times... I don't remember if I played with these DLC. I would imagine that they I did, but let's see if I can if I just look at a picture of her. <sighs> yeah, I don't I don't remember her exactly. This Kasumi Goto DLC, one of the two DLC squad mates in Mass Effect 2. I wonder who the other one is then. I think the other one is actually the uh the one we just got a message of earlier, because I don't necessarily remember him either. So that could be cool. And then, hello, Commander Shepard. Thank you for submitting your updated medical documentation. Your status has been changed from deceased to alive. 
After deducting modest administration fees for closing the file, the sub subsequent change in your status and reactivation of your account, you have remaining balance of 100,000 credits. Thank you for banking with Ascension Financial Services. We look forward to working with you. Okay, cool. No new messages. Sweet. Archive messages. That's everything back. Cool. Uh, right, can I have a look at my journal? Travel to Eight. Cerberus, uh, okay. This is assignment, so yeah, we can just, we can do these if we want to, but they're not main mission stuff. Cool, and then assemble a team. Master Thief, the veteran, that's the other ones. I, I, I think I remember him, but maybe not from playing, but from, um, from like videos or something. Either way, I'm not entirely sure. I think uh, the best thing we definitely should do is get him so we can actually get the weapons training. And this is the one that they recommend doing first. So we'll, uh, can I like mark this as active? I guess, no, that's not a thing in this game, right? There's no fucking arrow, it's just I have to follow these directions better. Dr. Mornensola is a biological weapons expert, light weapons training with Salarian Special Task Group. Dr. Mornensola is a Salarian biological weapons expert whose technology may hold the key to counter a countering collector attacks. He's currently operating a medical clinic in the slums of Omega. Omega, which is also where he is, so you could combine the two. Squad got me a little level up. Um... So I could go for pool, but I think I'm actually going to go for this, and then next level up, we have three points, so I could go for one of the three pointers, or something. I got shockwave from uh, level two pool. When did this? Was this already here? How did I not see this? It launched a string of cons concussive mass effect fields in a narrow path in front of you, violently locking tar knocking targets aside. Six second recharge, number of shockwaves, eight, impact radius one and a half meters, impact force field newtons. Yeah, that's gonna be cool as well. Actually, I have one point, but I need, I need two points in here. Sorry, never mind. I could get a level, next level up, but I probably won't. All right, so that's all that. Uh, I'm gonna just talk to Liz, everyone I can talk to right now. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. Get all this shit out of the way. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. Do you also and suck I must dick? say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. Pleasure's all mine, uh, Yeoman, Yeoman, Yeoman Chambers. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Oh, I sure will. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? How is the crew? Is there anything I should know? Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything else, Commander? How is the crew? Is there anything I should know? Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything else, Commander? How is the crew? Is there anything okay, I should okay, know? Okay, Joker okay, would enough, like enough, anything enough. else, Commander? Let's chat. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I think I'm in, guys. What do you do? What the fuck do you do here? What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Okay, is that all? Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Oh, yeoman is not her name. The crew. <laughs> oh yeah, her name is Karen or whatever she just said. Is. Kelly. Any of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. Okay, keep your fucking... Uh, your counselor? You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. It's good you're here. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? Uh, are you happy? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. We fucking won't. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Jesus. Oh my god, whoa, what's going on? Embrace you? I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Oh, hello? Now that's an enticing thought. I was kind of joking when we started this conversation, about? but what the fuck? <laughs> this organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests, advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. To be fair, Shepard hasn't felt a human touch in over two years, or a female human touch in over two years. Well, not in that way, anyway. Uh, does Cerber Cerberus hate aliens? It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. 
Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. You're very loving. That's a very positive attitude, Kelly. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? No. I better go. Okay. Maybe yeah, we'll talk later. Maybe we fucking will, Kelly. Maybe we'll do more than talk. A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. How are you gonna fucking close it, though? Alright, I know uh, Joker wants to talk to me. Talk to me, Joker. Oh. Which Paragon unlocked? I'm unlocking all of the Codex entries. I guess I could talk to Edie as well. Yes, Shepard. Let's talk about you, baby. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Oh, Jesus. You. How are you getting Joker. along with Joker? Mr. Morag does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. Tell me about your name. Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. I like this conversation. It's nice and quick. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. Yeah, catch I this. <laughs> the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. What? Restricted for me? The captain of this fucking ship? Tell me more. Restricted functions? Like what? Well, they wouldn't be fucking restricted, you could, she could say. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. The cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close-range ship-to-ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Very cool. Sounds incredibly useful. Why is there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Chat GPT. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization. Just putting it out there. Alright, what monitoring devices? The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. That's fair enough, to be honest. Let's discuss something else. Ready. Uh, oh, right, that was just only that one. Uh, I, I'm good. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Joker. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. Uh, ship is just a copy. It's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I die. Oh! <laughs> such a downer. Yeah. Oh yeah, we can do this shutter control. You can close these fucking things and not have to look outside. Try and fly the ship now, Joker, you piece of shit. Alright, cool. Ever think we'd be working for the bad guys? Oh, I thought, uh, yeah, I guess you were talking to me, but I walked away. Sorry. Alright, let's have a little uh, look in the armory over here. Have a look at our new weapon. Our new weapon. I thought Jacob was in this room as well, but I... Oh yeah, he is. There he is. Uh, let's have a little look at this first. No, not Edie. Alright. Oh, I can change everyone's fucking stuff here. Oh, I can change this to the arc projector. 
Does it, say, it doesn't say anything about stats, it's just effective against armor shields and biotic barriers. Uh, Non-visible laser, the readium for the high voltage electrical, electrical attacks, lighting his first target. Uh, take the path of the least resistance opportunity. Oh, it's cool! It's gonna do, it's, 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 it's lightning between enemies. Entire enemy strike team can be shocked to death with a few pulls of the trigger. Hell yeah, I want that. Okay, Jacob. Well, not all that I can choose there. And Miranda, same thing. Cool. Cool, cool. That was nice and easily done. Mostly done. Oh, so that's the extra weapon I'm not using right now. We really should have a rack for this instead of just a random laying it on the fucking table. What is this, a gun dealership? Holy fuck. Look at all the choice here, though. That's the one thing about, I, I dislike, or not dislike, but miss about playing an adept. I don't get to use sniper rifles, really. Jakob, how is Commander, it? There hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. It's a risky assignment. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. That's good. Tell me more about them. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. Hmm. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Alright, stop at the fucking saluting, you piece of shit. Nah, it's good. It's nice, but you're also a little over the top here. Maybe uh, tune it down. Tune it, just tune it back a little bit. Just talk to Edie here. Nothing else to do in this room. Alright, alright. On the right is the uh, tech lab, so we can't go there. So... Private quarters and the engine room, I guess, we can still head to. Oh, fucking hell, lots more. Okay, let's head to our own quarters first to see what about that new little helmet. It's my private terminal, I assume it's the same. Ooh, my achievements. Oh, these are all specific to this game. I mean, that makes sense, I guess, but... Okay, now... stuff makes sense are we select music yes actually no I don't like this tune for times charm yes that's the jam I'm looking for all right show me what I've got show me what you got oh it's 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 just this one fuck's sake I want this but I do want an option to not wear armor also I need to I didn't actually try this, but I think I went for the best option. And I want to have a look at if I choose black. Oh, I kind of like that actually. Yeah, that looks even better. If I go black and then I never go back, change it. Actually, that more mats looks pretty sweet as well. Kind of like the. I kind of like it being more matte. Uh, and then I just want to double check. There's not actually, wait, not this one, tint one. And there isn't actually an orange color out there. That I just straight up missed or something. I guess this is more orange than this is. But is it also when I do this? No, it doesn't, it doesn't carry over. Because it's one before the one I chose. This looks more orange on this one. But here, Oh, uh, what the heck? Wait, it's that's that was happening in Mass Effect 1 too. There's, there's clearly something wrong with my my mouse or something. I don't know what the hell is going on. Oh, maybe I actually I think my my fin my finger was just leaning on the W and this was happening. Yeah, that was just me being stupid. <laughs> anyway, here th this one looks more orange. Colors don't really carry over anyway. Yeah, it's not the same, because this one ends on blue. Eh, whatever, fuck it. I just go, just go like this. This this looks fine. But it is a bit weird. 
uh, an uncasual appearance. I think, yeah, I didn't really unlock anything there. So I didn't unlock anything at all, but the game just kind of made me think I did. All right, then we have the cruise quarters. Miranda Lawson is there. Not a lot of people to talk to yet, which is kind of good. I think I know where she is. She's over there, behind there, I think. Dr. Chuck was! Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. <laughs> First thing I said to her, why are you here? I'm shocked. Why are you here? Serving a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Thanks. Can we get a hug? Uh, how did you You're join? You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. Cerberus. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. Why'd you leave the Alliance? Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. You like flying? Colonial military life isn't for you. I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. Mm. Need anything? You have everything you need. I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. New main mission unlocked. Get a bottle of whatever the fuck she just said. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Shepard. Find Brandy. There it is. Find a bottle of Ceres Ice Brandy at a store somewhere. Oh, somewhere. The AI core is restricted. All right. I think that's where uh, Liara goes in the future. Actually, I don't remember. Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar Wait. coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real. It's nice fucking. It's Presley. But not Presley. <laughs> Commander Shepard, the hero of the city. Is it a son? <laughs> you did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Uh, I don't need anything. You have everything you need. I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. How can I help? What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Aw, oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. Give me the fucking list. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those namby pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Need anything else? You have everything you need. If you thing. happen to find any of those supplies right. on the list, I won't I take any more of your time. Back to work. Alright, can't go here either. See if there's any like codex things I can examine. The gunnery officer is required to access the gunnery control station. Why am I looking to the left? What's going on? Shepard is having a fucking seizure. Alright, yeah, Miranda's here. Hello, Miranda. I'm just walk into your room. Alright, I'll be on the bed if you need me. Commander. What can I do for you? Tell me about the Normandy. Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Can we talk? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Uh, you. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. 
It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You choose to have sex sometimes? You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Well, the only way for me to succeed is if I get a blowjob right this instant. So, you're the only one here? Can you uh, help me out? You're a genetic mutant. Why am I what always so sexualizing everything? What the fuck's about? wrong with me? That's very thorough. Been married Physically, I'm superior in many years. ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Not as to that, advanced some of the as best mine. Training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Wow, you're... Should I say you're cocky again? So you're perfect? Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Can I be a mistake? Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... Abilities. Alright, something about cock. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Whatever I need? Well... About that blowjob. <laughs> Stop! Stop joking, man. It's too much. Holy fuck, this place is huge. The men's restroom. Wow. Kind of cool that they even added, they bothered to add this in, to be honest. Port, Port observation, observation deck. deck is access to life support is restricted. It's fucking restricted. I probably shouldn't go into the women's restroom, let's be honest. I'm just gonna open it, but not go inside. Three quarters. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Oh, wow. My family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collect. Jesus, what attacks. the fuck is wrong with you? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. This woman is very negative. Oh, you're gonna miss her birthday. That sucks. Oh, she's on a colony that's really risk at risk for being attacked. Oh, how unfortunate for you. Oh, oh, your kid's gonna die. Oh, that's oh. What a what the fuck? Uh, yeah, this leads to the same place. Oh, this goes down now. I won't let the stairs go down on me. I remember who goes here in the future. But not yet. Well, it's good to know Shepard hasn't, uh... Forgot his ability to only sprint for three seconds for being tired. Oh, we got two people. Daniels and Donnelly. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. Jump up! Hello, uh, Engineer Daniels. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Oh, absolutely nothing, mate. Yeah. Uh, I'm Commander Shepard. If you want, if you're worrying, uh, if you're if you're wondering about it, I don't know what the fuck. Um, I, I'm only interested in Gabby, to be honest. Uh, why did you join um, Cerberus, Gabby? How did you end up with Cerberus, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Oh. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is and state dick. of the art. When I got Stop, the opportunity man. to work the on fuck? her, I had to jump. Jump on this dick. Stop! <sighs> uh, Alright, Ken, I guess you can tell me about it too. Well, we, we just we just heard his story, so what the f what does, what does it matter? Uh, just, do you need anything? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take you so can't. long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an you array of attenuators in the primary power transfer fired, system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings don't installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Don't, don't fucking speak for me, Engineer Daniels. Us Scottish folk will stand together against you, American scum. 
Uh, why don't you have these uh, couplings? Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time That's for That's good. Sure. I'm going to the Omega markets soon. Carry on. I'll keep well an eye out. Commander. Oh, I'm job. amazed Shepard came Engineer down Domaly. to see us. I told you he would. Yeah? You're fucking... You, you, you're thinking for me again there, uh, Engineer uh, Daniels. You told this fella that I was going to be down here. I'm starting to get on my nerves, Engineer Daniels. We need to get in fucking line. God, Scottish is just like the most fun accent ever. Scottish. Cool. Well, I think I've. Uh, Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Never mind. Because I chatted with everyone I could chat with. Are you fucking lying to me? What the fuck? You made me click on that for no goddamn reason, Kelly. Earlier when we spoke, you were very open with. Oh, we're. Me. I like that. Second part but of our I conversation hope I didn't already. Come across as too flirty. I, I don't know. want to overstep my bounds. I liked it. <laughs> I I don't know if I should. I don't know if this is gonna change the story with Liara. Like if I have a fling going on here with Kelly, <laughs> I don't know if I want to risk it. <laughs> um, it's fine. I liked it. You're very charming, Kelly. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Anyway. How may I help you, Commander? You already know, Kelly. Let's chat. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I got, I got nothing to... Sorry. I better go. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll talk later. Can we talk, please? Yeah, of course. Actually, no. Cool. Right, journal. We have, uh, we have a bunch of stuff that we need to acquire in different places. This is in the Citadel. This is in the Citadel, probably. Although, it says... Uh, a store somewhere, but probably I could be no, it could be Omega, I suppose. This is definitely Omega. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Can I just do mark all viewed? Yeah, that'd be nice. Can I be revered? Yes. Let's have a look at the galaxy map. This episode's gone on a bit long. I was hoping to record one more. Oh my god, this is way bigger than I oh right, you can just float fly around like that. Um. Yeah, let's back out of that. I don't want to accidentally trigger fucking multiple um, cutscenes and shit. Uh, yeah, so... Bloody blah, this episode's gone a little bit longer. I was hoping to be able to record one more episode tonight, but I don't think it's gonna happen. But hey, I got two done, so hey, good start, I suppose. Um, but yeah, next time, first, uh, or the next main mission, we're gonna recruit uh, Morden, I think his name is. And... Other than that, more than Solus, yeah. I think we'll probably go for Archangel. I think I know who that is. And, yep. Um, and then we'll kind of we'll see where we go from there, to be honest. Maybe start doing some of these assignments, too. But, uh, ye. Fuck yeah, I'm excited. I'm really, really looking forward to playing more. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. For now, Mass Effect 2. Until next time, have a good day. And goodbye.